Hey there, tunes! Melville here with another video. And as promised in the last video, this is gonna be a solo factory walkthrough. And since Little Cheddar brought me his footage first, that's whose footage we're gonna review today. Now, listen carefully, because there are some requirements for the solo factory. You must have at least level 6 throw, which is the birthday cake, level 6 squirt, which is the storm cloud, level 6 sound, which is the foghorn, and level 4 lure, which is the big magnet. If you don't have those gags, you shouldn't be soloing the factory, because you will more than likely go sad because your gags won't be strong enough. Now, I don't recommend soloing factories, but if, if you need merits and none of your friends are online, go right ahead. Now, I'm not going to be doing a lot of commentary during the footage while it's being shown, but after the footage is over, I will do a step-by-step -step of the strategy so that you can try it yourself and maybe tell me what happened. Let's roll the footage. We now join Little Cheddar in the Cellbot Factory. And two of the cogs go down. And the last cog goes down, and Little Cheddar moves on to the boiler room. And two cogs are taken out. And the final cog is taken down, and on Little Cheddar goes... To the warehouse. And three of the four cogs are taken out. And the final cog is taken out, and Little Cheddar moves on to the east silo. And he lures the cogs. And takes them out one by one. And on Cheddar goes to the West Silo. And lures the cogs and takes them out one by one just like the East Silo. And Cheddar moves on to the foreman. And he uses the same strategy as the silos and blurs and, and takes them out one by one.
and Cheddar takes out the foreman and wins the solo factor. The explanation of the strategy will be in another video titled Solo Factory Part 2. So until that video comes out, I'll see you later, Tunes. This is Melville, signing off.